stopping in today guys Eric and I are out in this cold Atlanta weather today running errands and I was reminded that I never came in to give you guys the reaction video for Eric when I brought the new BMW X7 home so a couple of you um, were like Tan what happened what did what did Eric say um, are you guys on the verge of divorce um, you know what, what, what's going on? Was he happy with the car? Cause you never came back in. So I have this guy here today to kind of, you know, come in and fill you guys in on his, you know, thoughts. So, so here's what happened. Uh, it was a complete and total shock to me. I was busy working from home on a bunch of calls and you pulled up. I knew you were running errands, mm -hmm. but I didn't know you were running that errand. Um, <laughs> You know, we had been talking about going and looking for a new car, but I was kind of Yeah, I told them, babe, that, you know, Chase is getting the Mercedes to take right. to college. And so, you know, we needed a new, well, I guess we didn't need a new car, but, you know, we right. wanted, you know, a replacement car for that. You guys know Eric works from home. I'm a stay-at-home mom. So we don't necessarily do a whole lot of driving. I know in a lot of households, it's, it's a his car and a right. her car. Yeah, we don't do that. We don't really do that. Um, it's yeah. just, <laughs> what car are you driving today? <laughs> but my reaction was, I was like, I hated it. I sent it right back. And we got in a huge argument. No, we didn't. <laughs> now, seriously, what happened was, my only complaint was, mm -hmm. I think you had picked a model that had two-tone leather. Right. It was dark, like a black, and the white. And with the white leather, that's what we have on the other car, the mm -hmm. Mercedes. And mm -hmm. white leather is gorgeous, but it is, as you can imagine, hard to keep clean. So... Mm -hmm. We went back to Nally. That was the dealership. Shout out to Nally. They did a, they treated us real well. Mm -hmm. Went back to them, you know, I think a couple of days later yeah. and picked out a car. And honestly, again, Nally was awesome. Mm -hmm. What took the longest time was you, because you like that color combination. And then I you did. wanted a certain rim. I did. Yeah. I like the white interior, but right. you brought it to my attention yeah. that, you know, you wear these dark denim jeans and sometimes, right. you know, you know, you know, ladies, right. there can be a bit of color transfer. And while I'm sure, you know, I would have been easily, you know, I would have been able to wipe it up off of the, um, the, yeah. the other thing that happens too with white leather, if you got white leather, if you have a pen in your car, uh, your wife, it'll write on the leather. Mm, yeah. So mm. we went with the darker black. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like this a lot better. What do yeah. you think, babe? Yeah, I like it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, I got really upset with you. I was frustrated. I was angry. No, I'm just joking. Um, <laughs> my only complaint was the leather thing. Was the leather. So we went light. back to the dealership. Nally, again, treated us great. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it was a really quick process. The thing that took the longest was this one over here. <laughs> you guys was know. was very picky about the interior and exterior color rim. I liken it to when you are decorating your home, you, you move into your home for the first time and you are decorating, you know, everything you want, the color scheme and everything to work. Um, I'm not sure if I've put in what the front of the grill looks like on this car. So it's a really mean, a really robust looking grill. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted wheels or as our, uh, you, some, feet, shoes. Some, you know, you she wanted, wanted nice rims. I wanted nice shoes on the truck. Yeah. Um, so she wanted the black rims. Yeah. Um, we wanted a certain com color combination. It's funny. Mm -hmm. We had agreed. Since you do 90, 80% of the interior home mm -hmm. decorating, I mm -hmm. would pick the color combination mm -hmm. and the rim combination. Mm -hmm. But I actually wasn't the picky one. It was you. So they were running around like chickens with their head cut <laughs> off. And they were great looking for the right color combination, rim right. interior combination. And like you said, babe, um, 
they were just great. The process went right. so quickly. Um, I will say, you know, just like when you're buying a house, um, have your paperwork. Ready. Have your paperwork ready. We were in and out because we made sure we knew what our credit score was. We, you know, yeah, all the financial and everything yeah. was at a point where, you know, they couldn't really get in there and try to, you know. Yeah. So that's our number one tip. Whenever you're making a large purchase, get mm -hmm. all your ducks in a row. Mm -hmm. I would actually recommend get a credit app, an Experion or Equifax app. Now they have apps where you can look at your credit score and your credit in real time. I know back in the day, you would pull stuff like that maybe once every mm -hmm. couple, of, you know, twice a year. Mm -hmm. But now you can have an app on your phone that shows you that. Pull that ahead of time, even pre-qualify ahead of time if you want to do that. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing I would recommend is just all your paperwork. I will actually now bring my laptop. That's for my example, laptop bag. I have yeah. everything right here. For example, we had cleaned out our other car. So I, I had taken out the insurance card. I didn't bring an insurance card, mm -hmm. but I was able to download it and send the PDF right from my laptop. So, you know, just have all your ducks in a row. That's my rule, uh, tip number one for buying okay. a new car. Second tip, I'm a big fan of extended warranties on cars and here's why cars now we're going to get into how just this is basically a computer on wheels <laughs> it basically drives itself will park itself the, the the automation in this car is just off the chain and a lot of cars are like that now that's not not unique to this car and mm -hmm. just the engines and everything are so complex and i know back in the day i would like work on my own car in high school and college i would change <laughs> my brakes and my my gas and my um, oil there's no way i'm touching this so with that comes a lot of expense it's very expensive and you know when you get your car repaired now and i like to take you know a car this complex right to the dealer mm -hmm. you don't know if it's going to be a hundred dollars you don't know if it's going to be a thousand dollars so just having an extended warranty takes away some of that worry you know you pay a little bit for it but again it's better than a lot of times having a surprise bill they are legit i know a lot of times like i'm not a big fan of like extended warranties on furniture because they're ripoffs those are trash but with cars, that's another tip. Don't ever get an extended warranty on furniture. It's trash. It's a ripoff. They don't honor them. But that's we, another story. From experience, yeah, we, we speak. Yeah. Yes. But <laughs> with cars, they are legit. Try to buy it when you purchase the car. Mm -hmm. I know on our previous car, we got it from Ally. They underwrote it, and it was legit. I would take the car in. The warranty was in the computer. they fix it. Never had an and issue. And what is Ally? They're just an insurance company. Okay. Um, with this car, we actually got it through BMW. But... It's an extended warranty out to 100,000 miles. So it came with a, like a four year warranty, mm -hmm. but this gets it out in like 50,000 miles. This gets it out to 100,000 miles. So I just like to be worry free. They also have maintenance packages now that you can buy. Mm -hmm. We got that as well. Well, they'll change the oil and the brakes and all that for four years. That's included in the package. And that all went into the purchase. So look at those options when you're buying a car just to have that added peace of mind. So some of the features of the car, and we're not gonna go through everything because honestly, I think we had been there. They give you a tutorial when you buy the car and we had already been there like an hour going through the tutorial and we were just getting lost. There are so many features on this car. This is basically just a computer that drives itself, but I will go through some of the features. So the one thing that amazes me on this car is the camera. If you look on the right here, you know, not only is it a backup camera, but you can see it's basically giving you like a top view and the clearance of the doors on the car. So you get a top view and you can see your door clearance. Um, and when you actually drive, pull up, when you pull forward or back up, it does a real good job of highlighting where potential hazards are uh, that you could run into. So this is the control center again. I, I'm still learning some of this myself and we've had the car a while and it's still a lot, but you know, again, this is basically an onboard computer. It's got obviously built-in navigation, but you know, it's got a whole car control center where you can look up your vehicle status, um, driving information, experience modes, if you wanna control how your car um, drives. Uh, the owner's manual is all online available in the car. So it's pretty cool. There's basically a little um, scroll wheel down here that you can use to kind of navigate through the menus, um, or you can just do the touch screen. Again, it's got built-in navigation, but it's also got um, Apple CarPlay and Android CarPlay. So if you've got an Apple or an Android, your Apple screen will actually appear on, um, you know, the, the touch screen here. So again, this here is like your mouse, right? So it's not a shifter. I know in some cars they have the dial shifter. This is actually the mouse for the touch screen. And then this is the shifter. So this button actually raises and lowers the car. Um, 
a lot of these features are for automatic driving. You know, quick poll of you guys. I want to get your feedback. If you've got one of these cars that will practically drive and park itself like a Tesla or really any new model car, if not, will drive itself, will at least probably park itself. I know this car will park and do a lot of driving on its own. Are you comfortable with that? Are you comfortable with just letting the computer drive? I know like in this car, when you kind of get out of your lane, it will pull you back into your lane, right? If you start going over the line, it'll pull you back. Um, if you're not using your turning signal, are you comfortable with that? Or do you just want all manual control? I'm not, I don't know that I'm there yet to just let this car drive itself, but let me know in the comments, if you got a car that will kind of drive itself or park itself, do you turn that feature off or on? Another thing that's nice about this car is it's constantly connected to BMW and roadside assistance. So if you have an accident or you have a flat tire, you push this little SOS button, roadside assistance will come to the rescue. This car doesn't even have, have a spare tire. And I'm sure a lot of cars are like that these days. If, if you have a flat, you just, you know, open this, click this SOS button and click the red button there and roadside assistance will come in and help you out with any uh, issues you have. And again, we got the extended warranty and roadside assistance. So, you know, one, one thing I like about that, you know, especially for my wife is I don't have to worry about her having a flat tire or getting in an accident, you know, not having help. You know, obviously we have insurance and all that stuff that has roadside assistance, but it's good to have an added layer of protection. So who's ready for Thanksgiving guys? I am. And so is the Unfrumpy Mommy store. So I wanted to come in and let you guys know that all holiday boxes are currently 50% off. Yes, 50% off for all of the holiday boxes and all of the t-shirts. Any t-shirt, any sweatshirt guys that you would like are all on sale. So head over to the store, the store.com and pick something out for yourself or your loved one. This sale will go on guys until Friday. So another thing that I like, I really love the CarPlay once again. So here you can see it's on my um, iTunes. And don't, you know, don't do a lot of this when you're driving, but I can pull up, you know, all my, well, some of my apps, my apps that are car enabled that would work on the car. I don't know why I would be looking at the NBA app on my car, <laughs> but some of these aren't safe, but like your maps, your music, the BMW app. So it's really cool. The other thing that I like about this, if we go back to music, this particular car has gesture control. So I can turn up the volume just with a traditional knob control, but you can also do like this and turn up the volume and turn it down. So it's got the gesture control. Then in here, it's got your cup holders. But what I like about this is it's got heated and cool cup holders. So here you can turn on the cooling and it will actually cool your drink down or heat your drink up just depending on you know what your preference is. If you got some coffee, it'll keep it warm. If we're down in Orlando at Disney and it's 90 degrees, we can have cold <laughs> drinks waiting on us in the car. So it's blue now. So right. let's see what the heat looks like. And there you go. And this is actually true for the back seats too. We have it back there also. I am very happy Hi, that you this great. Garland was awesome, <laughs> got us in and out. You had him pulling down every car, every car from inventory to find the right combination. You gotta but be he happy, in the ladies. rain because it was pouring down It was down pouring down raining. You we gotta went. be happy, ladies. You yeah. gotta be happy. Get what you want before you leave the lot.